So welcome back to the podcast, Robbie McIsaac. How are you, Robbie? Are you well? Always good, Rob. Always good yourself. <laughs> the best, mate. Well, if anything, it's normally around this time of year, things are getting quiet. You know, it's the winter months and everything, but uh, it's certainly not quiet for you, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a busy time. Busy time. Yeah, so well, the last we were talking with you was at the World Championships, obviously, and we were chatting about hopefully new products in the future. And you did say at that time you were working on something, but you didn't want to tell us what it was. And yeah. just last week, actually, we discovered this new product of yours. Tell us about this, Robbie. Yes, indeed. So it's bad pipe humidity case, and um, it's something that I never set out to go out and, and think right is this is this like a an issue as such but um through kind of a lot of trial and error and just trying to control the bagpipes and we found that in, in scottish power pipe band there was a i don't know if anyone's seen us in belfast we're walking about with big tubs in our hands and things like this so mm-hmm. similar concept that we're testing with humidity and things and we found that the pipes settle a lot quicker um, and they're a lot easier to control and this is because it's interesting, the packs that we supply, uh, the 65% Bovida um, humidity packs, they're not actually recommended for instruments, they're recommended for cigars. Okay, so but we've wow. tested a range of um, humidity packs in an airtight sealed container. Mm-hmm. And we found that due to the nature of the bagpipes and, and, and the natural humidity when you're playing them, um, it's you're trying to lessen the difference and change your humidity when you're playing your bagpipes. So we found that ranging in a, a few different climates, it's 65% mm. humidity is the optimum for us to keep our bagpipes out all year round. So this is a product that enables you to do that, but it's also portable. So we, we're not carrying about these box the big boxes. Know? Yeah, um, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it's portable. Um, it's accessible. It's It's... It's really, really robust. It's airtight. I'm actually planning on doing a few, like, kind of covering a bit of content on that, like putting mm-hmm. my pipes underwater and stuff and see, <laughs> we'll, see if, we'll see if it lasts, which is interesting because it should. Um, and there's a lot of storage, a lot of storage in this product because um, it's something that you don't often get with a hard case. So I wanted to cover all bases and, and really make sure that everything was perfect for the customer alongside the benefits that you'll notice with being humidity controlled in your bagpipes because it keeps like the health of your reeds um mm. good and the wood and um, also your bag that's something people fail to neglect a lot is the humidity content in your bag it'll last a lot longer and um, it won't need seasoned as much you'll find probably and um, that's what i've found personally um, and just the overall like tonal quality of the bagpipes is slightly enhanced it does make a massive difference at scale because we're all playing them in the pipe band yeah. um, everyone's on the same page and it does make a huge difference in how it control the pipes and, and how well they tune and things like this so it's been a uh, it's been monumental for for making the band's life easier yeah um, and pipes sound better so the folks at Scottish Power have all been playing with these as you say I did see you guys like carrying these weird boxes around and people are wondering What's going on? Oh, never at Scottish Power they do this kind of thing. They they always play with little you know things. So th- that's what was going on. You guys were experimenting with this type of stuff then throughout the season, and this is yeah, what you landed yeah. on. Yeah, of course, of course, this is it. It's all about looking for those areas of improvement. Um, and the Scottish Power, it's why I love the band so much. You know, it's why I'm a, a member. Is we're always looking for these cool, wee, quirky things yeah. that make the marginal difference. Um, like the like the mylars on the chanter, uh, the silver. Yes. And we found that this did, did make a difference, um, and it's why we we still use them, you know, and we got them fabricated and hey, some with a zip that can be put on really easily. And it's things that's, like this that's um, it's really cool to me. It's a bit of engineering and design, and it's so cool, you know. Absolutely, it's revolutionary. I have to say, at the World Championships this year, uh, I think Scottish Power with having the silver and everything seemed to struggle a lot less. With their, you know, the tuning and everything, because it was really hot over those couple of days, really sunny, uh, but yet the band seemed to be really quite settled and could blow a lot more actually than other bands in comparison. So, it did seem to work, yeah. 
So we'll have to have a look at the website here right now. So this is fluxsolutions.co.uk. Uh, we've been talking about this on the podcast last week uh, about this product. So for you folks out there that are watching the video right now, this is the website. But for those of you listening to the pod, we would urge you to go and have a look at it. There's a big blue button right at the front saying new products and view everything. So of course you have the Flux Blowpipe Plus. You have the you know the insert and everything, the cloth insert. But then you have these new Bovita humidity packs, as you were saying. So these originally were for cigars. Tell us yeah. about how you came across these. Yeah, well, they're, they're used already in the bagpipe industry. If you look at us, uh, the tone protector, the chanter cap, mm -hmm. use them in the band, and it's how we came across them a few years ago, and they work really, really well. Um, so you can get different sizes and things, and, and we mm -hmm. were looking for kind of other applications, you know. Um, and it's a pretty well established brand, though. They deal with a, a lot of different industries, um, scar industry, um, also. Mm -hmm musical instruments as well um but they use different packs and things like this um oh, wow. there's really anything for for storage of anything it's cool see. Uh, so so you have these humidity packs which you can buy as well as well obviously the main product that we're talking to you about today is the humidity case now i've tried to describe this it's difficult to visual things on a podcast but this looks to me like a camera case you know like something like a pelican case is what mm -hmm. i've likened it to extremely hard wearing was that was that a like an act of choice that you wanted for this product yeah 100 percent. it's it's best to achieve a kind of airtight pressure tight dust proof environment when you've got a hard case for a start so there's mm -hmm. a solid seal and solid clips around the edges um you've got basically all the features you could you could ask for and um, naturally you've got your your padlock closure you've got a pressure release valve because you'll find Mm -hmm. A lot when you're trying to open the case, it'll be like like a seal. It'll be like yeah. a, a, there's a small vacuum in there. So if you can, um, when you're traveling, this can actually, there's been a few horror stories of people like um, getting the case like um, sealed shut and they have to drill into it to release the pressure and then the case is ruined. So I was about to say, yeah, people on airplanes case. especially have experienced this where they, exactly. they can't get it open. Yeah. That's the issue. So there's a yeah. pressure release valve on there, so you can just really release that pressure before you open it. Um, and yeah, the, the hard case is it's the way to go in, in my eyes. Um, it's really, the pipes fit in really snugly. Um, you've got lots of storage in there and everything's protected really well. Um, I've never felt like my pipes have been protected in any of the cases I've had. I've always mm. had to, if I'm, if I'm travelling, I've had to put bubble wrap in or towels and wrap the pipes up. But yeah, now it's a bit different. It's just um, it feels solid. You know, there's a lot of padding. That's it. And then um, we're looking at the website now, and we do have these like foam inserts and stuff. And these are an absolute godsend. As you say, I've known many pipers that wrap their pipes in towels and bubble wrap and all sorts of madness to make sure they don't get damaged. But this makes it so much simpler. Uh, these foam inserts and that. So obviously they can be cut and adjusted in that if you need them. Like say you have different profiles of drones and that, I guess you could cut into these, could you, and adjust them? Yeah, it's pretty cool that the foam comes like um, pre-cut into mm. lots of different squares. So all you need to do is is tear a square out into the shape of the drones, um, and then you're golden. You don't need to cut anything. It's all just ready it's already to tear. Set. But yeah, which is brilliant. So um, that's that's a script on that one. There you go. Well, I have to ask you a question now. This is what from the Big Rab Show team. We've been studying the photographs of this product because we honestly are a huge fan of this. Now, we have noticed that you have the humidity packs. Is it the Bovita packs? There, They're there. Yeah. But right next to it as well, you have your cloth insert in the same case. So we did wonder, did the two sort of counteract each other? Can you pack both in the same case? Yes, Rab. You can pack both in the same, in the same case. This was mm. a bit of product placement. And it's something right. I never thought about the functionality of the time when the, when the photographs are getting taken. But um, the way Bovida works, it's on kind of a small scale, micro molecular level. Now, I'm not a chemist, but this is how I believe it works. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and as opposed to the flux cloth, which deals with water that's already changed state from liquid to solid, yes. um, it's not so much vapor. So it's. I've never found, or any of the band have never found any issues with storing them together. There you can you always are. store them in a different pocket if you if you really wish, but 
it doesn't it doesn't make a massive doesn't, difference. Doesn't make a difference. There you go. So for those who already have the flux blowpipe, um, so they can use this in conjunction with this case. Is that right? Yeah, one hundred percent. And we've actually found it's beneficial to have the case and the blowpipe purely due to that difference in humidity we spoke about earlier on. Yeah. And if you can lessen that difference in the rate at which it change. Uh, changes then you're going to have less issues with condensation in the bagpipes there you go perfect so this really is an all-encompassing system now there's one thing i really want to draw listeners attention to is that this is yeah it's on wheels and you have a pull handle and all that this is so handy for folks that are going to be traveling and because it's so hard wearing is that like a real focus of the market here robbie that you're looking at traveling players yeah i just I just really want it to be portable as much as possible. You know, it doesn't matter if you're going on a plane or yeah. uh, at a competition. It is travel compliant. Uh, the guys that have used it in the band have never had any issues with Ryanair and EasyJet traveling from um, Belfast yeah. to Glasgow or Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. Um, and the dimensions, if you're if you're planning to travel, uh, the dimensions are in the description on the website. So you can have a look at them and make sure it's compliant. But it is majority of the time compliant on a lot of airways. Um, so that's that's definitely something that we are working towards, covering all bases again. You know. There you are. Fantastic stuff. Well, Robbie, I have to say, this product is incredibly exciting for bagpipers. Uh, I dare say the drumming world may well pay attention to this. You know, there might be something for us drummers out there. For the- <laughs> I'm just going to plant that little acorn for you. Um, but we don't need moisture control, I guess. We just need something to hit. But there you go. But I have to say, this product is absolutely incredible. So 170 quid, honestly, it's cheaper twice the price, man, if I'm honest. Because this is like a full, a full basic solution. It's like a, its own microclimate that you can control and have your pipes ready to go straight out of the box. Exactly. And that's what we're working towards. Um, it's why it's it's £170. I'd say it's fairly priced against other cases um, that give you similar benefits um, in terms of portability, but not thinking about humidity control. Um, that's really, really effective. So um, I tried to, uh, that was intentional, to try and make are. it accessible. Um, and yeah, Rab, that, that's the overall goal. That's what I was thinking about the other day. I was sitting having a coffee and I was, I was thinking one day, I'd love to create this bagpipe that you can just get out of the box and it'll be in tune. Left and whether up. that's control, there you go. Yeah, yeah, just having control over every aspect that you don't in order to enhance the performance capabilities of the instrument and the health of the instrument, um, just make a piper's life easier. And uh, that's the ultimate goal. So maybe self-tuning drones next. I've been toying with oh, this hey. idea. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking about coding some, uh, doing some code work on that and, and seeing... How far oh, we get. Wouldn't that be great? You know, like drones with servos in them. And as you're playing, they're going whoop, 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 whoop. They're moving on your shoulder. Yeah, that would exactly. be something else. Hey, there be we go. <laughs> it's 2022. Who knows what 23 will hold, mate? Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so for folks looking to view all this, and I know we did a lot of visual stuff there on the pod, but go and have a look at fluxsolutions.co.uk. Check out this incredible product. I have no doubt this will be a Rab Show award winner next year as more folks pick this up. Uh, so yeah, the, the product is launched now. This is now before Christmas 2022. Have you had any orders even, any pre-orders so far? Yeah, we've sold, we've sold quite a lot, especially to overseas retailers. So I'll just, oh. I'll, I'll say to any listeners, we have retailers, Kelts and more in Germany. We'll have stock mm. um, once these are shipped. I don't know what room I've got. Oh, you have them there? There you go. <laughs> okay. um, Kelts and more in Germany. Um, there is Piper's Hut in the States, Claymore Imports in the States. There's a few different companies. There's also one in France. Um, I can't remember. I might pop you a message about that, Rab, just because um, they're becoming more available wide. So these orders are getting shipped out. I've had a few orders on the site as well. So these cases are actually already sold. So I just need to get all these out the door. And then get do the same next month. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're a busy man, Robbie. And it, it's good to see such innovation in the piping scene, honestly. So it's exciting when products like this get launched. So, uh, yeah, that, we're definitely a fan. And no doubt, well, hopefully, if anyone's listening to the pod and they want to know what to get me for Christmas. <laughs> all right. Yeah, just dropping that little hint in there. I hope to see one under the tree. <laughs> so, Robbie, thanks for taking time to chat with us, mate. Uh, we are really excited about this product. And uh, if there's any future developments and stuff, then please do keep in contact with us. We, we would love to hear them. Yeah. 
keep me posted, Rob, 100%. And anyone listening, give us a follow on Facebook um, or Instagram. That's where we post. I'm always posting stories and things now as well. So a bit of exclusive content, I suppose. And just me building up the cases, maybe chatting a bit about them. Um, and any Excellent. questions, always just ping me a message. I'll always get yeah. back to you. So. Do you know what I would love to see? Now, this is just me being a fan now. All right. I would love to see just how hard wearing the case is. So maybe... You know, oh, maybe drop them, or you know, maybe they go flying down a flight of stairs, and you're going, "Oh no, yeah. my Robertsons!" <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm but, gonna write that down. I'm gonna do it. I'll put my pipes in and throw them down. Throw them at the window. You're a brave man. <laughs> it's what people want to see, Rob. You know, it needs, it needs to be done. Um, That's it. Of- yeah, you know that antique set that you put in there, and then I don't know, you drop the handle or something. You know, your hands slippy or whatever. That's yeah. all. It's happened. Is all. You know. So yeah, I would yeah. love to see that. Perfect. <laughs> Robbie, I'll let you go, man. Thanks a million for chatting to us on the pod this week. I appreciate it. Thanks. And good luck. Thanks again. It was good to chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers.